Oh, Rick! Rick just got fucking decimated. Here, I get on one truck, you get on the other. No! Wait, wait, no way, no way. Oh my god! <laughs> Pain. Pain. That is all I feel when remembering that this exists. Pain. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have nothing left. I, 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 I mean, anytime a studio talks about, oh, we're going to be remaking this uh, intellectual property from like all these years ago I, I just can't help but just just shake my head and wonder how why it, why is this happening I, I don't get it cause dude Tom like Tom and Jerry man Tom and Jerry when I was a kid I remember watching the Tom and Jerry cartoons with with my my grandparents a lot and just the amount of like laughter that that just oh, I loved it dude I loved it so much Sad part is that both my grandparents that I watched it with are now have now passed on but you know, I'll always have that memory in my heart. And then I remember the the movie that came out in the 90s. When I was a kid, I didn't realize how bad it was. You know, I, I, I had a fee... I, I, I thought it was okay. But as I grew older, I realized... This is crap. This is legitimate crap. And then, of course, now, you know, we have the new Tom and Jerry movie. And the disappointment my my disappointment is immeasurable with just how bad this film is I, I think that I think that I actually hate this film almost as bad if not worse than the emoji movie the emoji movie is terrible I mean it's one of the only like I went and watched that film with my nephews and I like they wanted to leave that's how bad that film was. That's how bad, like, the Emoji Movie was. I I wanted to leave from the beginning, but it was like 15 minutes in, my nephews, who were very young at the time, both wanted to leave. Watching this film, I sat there and I watched, I was watching this, and I was just like, what have they done? Look how they massacred my boy. Oh, God. I should say my boys. Yeah, um... I don't know how this could have gone well. I don't know how this got made. I don't know... Uh, actually, I do know how this got made. Studios just don't care. And it's just like, Oh, it'll be a nostalgia pop. We'll make we'll make money off this. You know, even if... Because yeah, kids are stupid. Kids are stupid. They're gonna they're gonna buy tickets to this because it's animated. It's got animated stuff in it. I I have no words right now. This guys. episode brought to you by. Sorry. This this. I don't know what to say about this. Doug, please provide me with some levity to this. Every week. Also brought to you by Omen. Play together, watch together, chat together, all with Oasis by Omen. By the way, there is alcohol in here to help try and help me enjoy this. Hopefully I don't pass out and fall asleep. Because I am pretty tired right now. It's been a long day.
right, everyone ready for our watch party to begin? Hell yeah! What's on the docket tonight, Critic? Well, it's the Tom and Jerry movie! Hell no! I thought you liked us, Critic! That's a lie and you know it, but it's not the one you're thinking of with the little girl and the first meme to walk the internet. Does it matter? We know it's gonna suck. Hey, I thought you both were Tom and Jerry fans, like me! Yeah, the old cartoons, but everything they've done recently has been shit. Oh, you two act like they've had a long series of missteps. But this one's different. In this one, they meet... The Wizard of Oz? No. Willy Wonka? No. The Nutcracker? No. Sherlock Holmes? No. no. Robin Hood? No. Johnny Quest? No. The Wizard of Oz again? No. Chloe Grace Moretz? Yes! Now just sit back and enjoy oh. the mayhem. Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah, it's like it was the movie. Well, this is fine. I, I love the original Tom and Jerry cartoon. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Let's just sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Jerry. Oh, yeah, man. A few days in space. It'll be great. What the hell is this? It looks like all the worst parts from the Fantastic Four movie. So all of them. No, just the parts where they're trying to be funny. So all of them. Yes, all of them. A new day is done of the Fantastic Four. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I love the scream. That's my seat. Sorry. Oh. Hey, which one did you pick? The blue ones with them little flowers? Why is this perfectly good Tom and Jerry cartoon being interrupted by these awful live action scenes? Congratulations. You got the analogy, Malcolm. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I was gonna say, what the hell is like this analogy? It, uh, I, I now I get it. God, this is so unexpected. Tamara, better luck next time. I'm afraid it's hell for you. What? Ah! <laughs> yeah, well, at least she won't Jokes. be lonely. It's no question, we talk about Tom and Jerry a lot on this channel. From good to bad to, yeah, I smoked the whole brick, what are you gonna do about it? So there was definitely interest when a new film mixing live action and animation was announced. Critics tore it apart, but audiences seemed to like it fine. I'm obnoxiously in between. When it's actually Tom and Jerry, they get the spirit and comedy down pretty good. When it's anything else, um... Uh... You I'm sorry, even the stu- uh, okay. For me, it's the animation that gets me, you know, I, when they put, they did all right with the real world stuff, but mm, the human characters are just so annoying. If you're going to do a Tom and Jerry movie, do a Tom and Jerry movie. Make it about Tom and Jerry. You don't need an overarching plot line you, like that. You just, you just need Tom and Jerry. It, it's a lot like Jack Sparrow. You don't have to have a, a, a plot line where Jack Sparrow has to go find this MacGuffin at the edge of the world, you know, has to sail the seas that have never been sailed before. Just, can we have Jack Sparrow doing his thing and 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 just making, making the adventure himself, improvising on the fly? Also, can we just get another Pirates of the Caribbean movie because Johnny Depp is innocent in this whole thing? Don't get me wrong, Johnny Depp's not a perfect person, but and the whole reason why he got fired, the fact that Warner Brothers has still not fired Amber Heard is a is just a bona fide statement on like on the entertainment industry as is. We're there in the 90s, man. Let us have this! Directed by Tim Story, who helmed Ooh. Uh, uh -huh. Oh hey oh. I guess you could say this is one of the better of his movies, as he at least got the main characters down. But yeah. the rest, you weren't there, man! It's complicated to talk about, so let's not waste any more time. This is our favorite cat and mouse team in a movie that's good? Okay. This is Tom yeah. and Jerry. Before ah. we start, let me remind you, oh. there are good scenes in this movie. There are good scenes in this movie. Can I kick it to all the people who can quest like a tribe does? I swear on this fucking Bible, there are good scenes in this movie! Yep, I can sense millions of grown-ups just shouting, nope, and clicking back on that OnlyFans window because you're... <laughs> I was gonna say, I had almost blocked out the fact that they used a tribe called Quests, Can I Kick It, in the beginning of this. God, dude, what a big, gross 
overuse of this of of this friggin' song. I love this song, by the way. Tribe Called Quest is definitely one of the best music groups ever to come out of New York. <sighs> anyway. Sorry for those of you wondering, I have a cigar here that may or may not be laced with something that will help me enjoy this. If I get to the point where I, I, I have to use this, I'm not afraid to strike up. Anyway. Goddamn adult. On the one hand, Tom and Jerry has always utilized music that was popular at the time, so this isn't 100% out of place, but it is 80% out of place. Rock and roll to the beat of the funk fuzz. Yeah. Despite that lame opening, there's, yeah, a lot more lameness, but you'll quickly see a pattern. When a laugh depends on someone talking, the film's pretty awful, but when it depends on something visual, the film's pretty funny. I was going to say, if we could just have, like, uh, the interlude of the beginning, you know, the, can I kick it? Yes, I can, can I kick it? Like, it's, it's literally, why can't we have the intro just be like Tom walking down the streets of New York with the bag over his show, you know, like the hobo thing, you know, everything in the little, uh, the little, uh, handkerchief, and he's just like, got it over, you know, the bandana's got it over his shoulder, he's just like, and then, all of a sudden, uh, we see Jerry, we see Jerry, like, not too far behind, and then something happens, and the shenanigans get in the place, and we have the little intro thing where we go over the characters who are, you know, the actors who are in the film and everything. Why couldn't we do that? Why do we have to have the pigeons rapping? Why did we have to do all of that for for nothing? Literally nothing. It, it equates to fucking nothing. <sighs> Sorry. I, I just love that song and the fact that they wasted it on that intro with pigeons rapping instead of just letting a tribe called Quest do their thing. You don't need pigeons rapping over top of it, seeming cool and all that. No. Anyway, sorry. Take this scene for example of Tom and Jerry trying to get set up in New York City. That's pretty good. Yeah. Visual storytelling. That's goddamn hilarious. Yeah. But now let's add in the music and dialogue that was originally there. View resplendent, huh? It's got everything. But be careful, those seats are very flammable. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. Have sudden urge to punch anything that comes into view. Oh my god. Why have you abandoned me? Ah! Damn it. Climb all the way out of hell just to go back. Can I kick it? Right now, fight is a point. Ooh, John Legend. I can't wait to see his cameo. I think I just did. Yep, that's As it. As they put together, all the animals are animated, using CGI, but adding lines on the outside to make them look both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. It surprisingly works okay, especially considering the more solid and painful the slapstick is, the funnier it comes across. Yes. And give the script credit, there are a couple of lines that work. Thought I'd seen it all with a blind theater playing cat. He can see it! He's a frog! The regular cat playing the piano. That's already one more laugh I got in any of this. The movie deserves a star simply on that default. Mm, they give the classic that. routine of Jerry pretending to see something, and honestly, with this scream, it works. <laughs> they chase each other, again resulting in some good slapstick, when suddenly... Hi, I'm here to kill your movie. What else this is This is new? Kayla, played by Chloe Grace Moretz. And I think this actress has proven time and time again she's a great talent both dramatically and comedically. So I don't really blame her for... No, please, sir, please just, you, you, you can't do that. Whatever this performance is. And the fact is, I love Chloe Grace Moretz as an actress. I think she's very talented. I think she is, like, she has so much, like, I, I, I can't say potential because she's already, like, there. She's already a very well-known name in Hollywood and a lot of people out there. But my God, this is just ha like horribly hammy. It's like she's dialing it in while dialing it in. Is this your resume? No, it's not. Wow, this is impressive. <sighs> my only copy. Every word sounds like she was just handed a rewrite and they cut just before she said, wait, that wasn't rehearsal? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you've had a lot of really cool jobs. Well, that was fun reading that line for my five-year-old niece. When do we start? We were rolling! She pretends yeah. to be a wedding organizer for a celebrity couple, but who gives a shit Tom and Jerry are doing actual funny stuff? I'm sorry, that's funny, man! Oh, look at that, Butch! 
Mitch and Topsy and a bunch of Tom's other friends from the cartoon. This ought to be a good time. Are you trying to break into our hotel? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Now I'm sure you know what I do to cats that laugh at me. Tom. <sighs> you see, okay. I'm not against, like, like changing up Butch's accent. I'm not against changing up, you know, you know, the style that they're going. They're in New York after all. But again, dialing it in. This movie dials it in at all the wrong places. Also, this freeze frame of Doug. That's a meme unto itself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doug. Tom's friends kind of scared me. Oh, that is hey, I'll see you again, it's the cheese. Okay, I don't think there's any Tom and Jerry commandments, but if there were, number three would be no character should ever say break yourself. And the rest would all be broken by these films. Oh. Here's a rare moment. The live action character does something funny and the animated character does something stupid. And I assume that that's the aquatics manager? That's Goldie. She has no official position at the hotel. That's the... <clears throat> emoji because we're the jokes that didn't make it into that SNL Gen Z sketch. <sighs> Michael Pena is also a great comedic actor, but there's only so far you can make this dialogue work. She thought the fish was a happy department. Really? A fish can't even walk. They can only think of poop and that's it. She gets the job and speaking of people who are only funny if they're in good hands. Who butchered these onions? Who? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Francois? We should leave. Wow, they're not even staying around to see if that bit works. They're just assuming it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, you're oh. missing this watermark. There you go. Oh, Doug. Uh, actually, no. I mean, I... Uh, rule 34, Nate. Rule 34. If it exists, there is... It looks like the celebrity couple arrives, played by Paula V. Sharda and Colin Just. Sometimes they get a laugh. Terrence, you were right. This simulator's amazing. It really replicates how bad I am at golf. I found this. Oh, my God. Don't look it in the eyes, Joy. And then other times... Simulator boy. I'm sorry, he's a little animated. Okay, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Giving him the old yeller treatment. Come on. Come on. Okay, next scene. They notice Jerry causing trouble, but Kayla says she'll take it upon herself to catch him. If a picture of this mouse is tweeted up to Instabook Face or the Tiki Talk, we will be ruined. Fun fact, that wasn't to show he was out of touch. That's actually what the writers think they're called. Poop emoji! Jerry makes himself at home, and it really is creative, sedated. all the things he found to replicate a living room. And he also interrupts a pretty boring romance with Kayla and the bartender with some very impressive shade. Who's that? <sighs> the sign of a worthy competitor. Well, I didn't think I'd have to pull out the number from Mr. Jigsaw, but shots have been fired. <sighs> Again, there are occasional moments of good writing, like when Tom sees Jerry living at large and the classic devil and angel appear arguing what to do. The devil asks why they're always fighting and suggests they let Tom make up his own mind. That is a good idea. <laughs> what a sucker. Now go make me proud, Tom. Hmm, why does that remind me of something? Tamara? She's still in hell? Oh, right. Doug. <laughs> oh, come on. This is fun. I love my hell button. Don't use it on yourself. The hotel, once again leading to some great screams, both old and new. <laughs> Sorry, referencing 89 Batman automatically gets you another star. Oh, and come on! Okay. His way. Jerry gets away, okay. but Kayla stumbles across Tom and realizes he can help catch him. Can't you catch a mouse? Isn't that in your DNA? Even for Tom and Jerry, that was unnervingly abstract. She brings up the idea to her boss, yeah. and it's like for every five unfunny lines, there's a pretty good one. Word gets out that we're refusing to hire a cat? Uh, Peter will be here before you can say discriminatory practices. Mm -hmm. Could he wear a hat? Like, there's one writer on staff saying, I want a job after this! I kind of yeah. like this joke, too, where it's almost like Tom accidentally sniffs the camera. Yeah, there we go. Don't look in the camera, say something, keep it going. Keep it going. 
This reaction from the dog also makes me giggle. Okay. All right. You done? And sometimes the recreation of something we've seen in cartoons in the real world can be pretty funny to look at. We've seen plenty of mouse doors drawn before, but actually seeing it built in with a do not disturb sign? I can't help but chuckle. You do not get to beat up my enforcer! She alerts Tom, but is called to the bridal suite where the big couple is having a big problem. I lost my ring. The fiance apparently lost the ring, and I'm uh, not gonna ooh. lie, I didn't know Colin Joss could give a death stare. Uh, where's your ring? The giant one that I gave you for love? Oh, um, I... It's just in, I'm scary as fuck! He can be. Kayla makes up an excuse, and hey, that first poop joke was amazing. Encore! How many burritos did you eat? Oh! You know what that joke needs? A better joke. Yes. Tom constructs an elaborate trap, and yeah, it doesn't have much of a payoff, but again, just seeing something so cartoonishly complicated done in a more real-looking environment, kind of fun. That's a Rube Goldberg device, dude. I mean, it's... it. I have seen them in live action films and they can work in and they can work in live action. And this one's all right. It's again. Tom thinks he sent him off and Kayla gloats to the handsome bartender. Hey, she came, she saw, she exterminated. Just like how my dates go. Oh, uh, the first part. Oh. Uh. Fresh. Hello, uh, Doug. I bet you want to tell me what an awesome company you are. Oh, you mean like with HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Talk about how convenient it is. That's why it's oh America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store tips so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. <gasps> yes, 30 minutes, you like that. Enjoy a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals stop a day. It. Plus every Doug, snack stop, and special please. treat in between oh within God. the HelloFresh market. You know you're a bad cook. You know you burn water. But with HelloFresh, it's easy to follow recipes. Even water. you can make it. I made mojo pork the other day. I'm very proud of myself. I need to make that again for my mom. See if I can help her, like, help her, like, bring her spirits up. My mom has to have surgery here soon. That's that's why. That's why I'm saying that. An easy, delicious meal. Would you like me to talk about the special offer? Yes, you would like that. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 and use the code Critic12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's critic HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 D and use 12, the code Critic12 for 12 free meals, uh, including free shipping. Hello yes, Fresh? HelloFresh is so delicious. That's... Yummy, yummy, yummy. Should I show the deal one more time? Yes, I should. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Critic12 Hello today. Fresh. Yeah. <sighs> You're amazing, HelloFresh. Douglas, what is this? Omen! You were seeing a HelloFresh sponsorship behind my back? I didn't think you two would ever be in the same room. How dare uh. you? I am shocked. Just for that, I'm going to verbalize my sponsorship. That'll teach you. No, not that. Sick of all those randos sliding into your team chat whenever you and your friends are grouped up in your favorite games? Then you need your own private oasis, your own paradise in the, let's admit it, wasteland that can be online gaming. Oasis is a free uh, and easy-to-use yeah. add-on for True. Omen Gaming Hub that creates oh. a virtual room for you and up to 15 of your friends for private gaming and watch parties. But Oasis isn't just any virtual room. With low latency, 720p, 30 FPS screening sharing, and seamless audio quality, you can quit worrying about technical difficulties, stop mm. arguing about who has the worst internet connection and get to playing. And because you can use voice or text chat while you share your screen or play along with someone else's, Oasis is the best way to hang out when we can't, you know, hang out. Mm -mm. Oh, I really hit my eye there, ow. Make sure you have Omen Gaming Hub installed. Then get the Oasis add-on to build your own gaming paradise. Still over that eye thing. Play I was going to say, I got Discord and Discord works works really well. Also, yeah, this is another cigar. This is uh, my uh, uh, private reserve Gurkha. Together, watch together, chat together, share together. All with Oasis by Omen. Download Oasis on the Omen Gaming Hub and try out the beta now. <gasps> wow, he's down. this is awkward. I swear he's gotten weirder since he lost the glasses. <laughs> uh, this, this is gonna say, I mean, Doug not Don't forget to check me out playing uh, Kingdom Hearts Fridays from six Kingdom to nine Hearts. on Twitch. We got content six Kingdom days a week. Hearts. Hope to see you there. Fill me with the power of darkness! Oh, God. So Tom plays the piano. Oh, yeah. That was the thing. And he serenades another cat in the lobby. 
Admittedly, this is a lot closer to how a musical number in a Tom Is Jerry you is or works. is you ain't yeah, my baby. Don't you know, baby. Don't you know, baby. Apparently, they deleted the part where Tom swallowed an autotune app. Again, that's another thing. Hearing that, I'm just like it. Like have like have some common decency to at least have the guy, like have the guy sing without auto tune to that. I mean, little girl, little girl. <laughs> Jerry of course makes his way back and causes trouble once again, revealing, however, that he has the lost ring which he's been using as a chandelier. What do you want for it, Jerry? Did you just call me the c word? Kayla agrees to let them stay, but he hides when Terrence interrupts them. It's taken care of, right, Tom? It is so taken care of. Wow, you have cancer! <laughs> Jerry gets loose, of course, resulting in a big chase, destroying the lobby. The solution is clear, punish Terrence. Terrence, I'm placing you on leave. What? Whoa, whoa, I was just joking, that's really what we're doing? The cat that she forced us to hire failed. The mouse is still in the hotel. Well, despite all those facts, you just don't look as good in a skirt, so out. Kayla is promoted. How's this hotel stayed standing so long? And she doesn't want to see her opportunity go up in smoke by our cat and mouse duo. Stop it! You guys gotta stop fighting. You interrupted a chainsaw fight as if I needed a reason to hate your character more. <laughs> she makes it okay. clear they can stay, but they yeah. have to figure out how to be friends. She plans a day for them to spend together because, yeah, along with planning a celebrity wedding, she totally has time for that. And they seem to get along while also taking part in some more slapstick. Oop. Hey kids, remember that cute animated fish earlier? Here's a graveyard of his family's corpses! Enjoy! Eh, they couldn't be more dead than this scene. Ben really loves you, Frida. He's a really good guy. It's just that when he goes, he goes big. I mean, we disagree, of course, about how big the wedding should be. Uh, that's one of, that's one of my favorite, like, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry, uh, shorts. That's, uh, the, the mouse, I forget the name of the, the damn short, but it's the one where they have wars back and forth, you know, and it, we, we, like, see, uh, Jerry's, like, war journal, and he's just, like, cat ship sighted, sunk on sight. Uh, sunk, uh, sunk at earliest, uh, convenience. Thank you. Yeah. Tom and Jerry get in trouble catching a ball, losing a game for the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, this script's 15 years old. Resulting uh... in them being arrested by animal control. Cause that's how it works? I don't know. Hello. Jesus, Troopies, the Joker, and Hannibal Lecter? Where are those straight to DVD movies? I'd love it. I'd say the Joker story had a sudden <laughs> style change, but that would imply Tim's story has a style to change. Here's the deal. You're emotionally unavailable. That's why she sent me here to bring you back. It's like the sound effects from Batman took over directing and the only film they ever saw was Ang Lee's Hulk. There is literally no other moment like this in the movie. You know what your friends say? It is your fault. He convinces them that they hate each other again and plans to have them meet up the day of the wedding. FYI, I'm always ready. LOL. Oh, oh my god, are these leftover jokes from the Emoji Movie? What are half these lines? Oh, he had to say it. He had to bring up the Emoji Movie. Ugh. Ugh. Pain! Terrence sets them up at the wedding, and again, the shoulder bit's pretty funny. I got something to say. Okay, go ahead and speak me. As I was saying. Angels in the Outfield was going to end the same way. Oh, they end up fighting, but the chef does more damage to his work than they do because somebody finally decided he should do something in this movie. And despite the slapstick usually being pretty good, it's surprisingly weak in this scene. Yeah, unless there's blood spewing out of that puff of smoke, this isn't grabbing me. Nah. Kayla admits she lied the whole time, and even the bride-to-be is about to flee. The wedding's off. I guess we were both in over our heads. Uh, oh no! Oh. What about the little girl and Indiana Jones and the buffet of creepers? Yeah, nobody gives a shit here either! It's yeah. just another liar revealed story because, as I said, this script was clearly written decades ago. But to their credit, it doesn't last very long. In fact, it's literally a minute until people stop moping. I timed it. 
I think that shows how little emotional investment was actually in this film, but I think even the makers were like, this may fly in Christmas rom-com 2397, but God damn it, we have to show some mercy to the children. <laughs> Maybe we just need to stop comparing ourselves to everybody and just work for it. It's actually comical how quickly Ooh. things are patched up. The bartender boyfriend sums up all her lying, leading to the possible destruction of their hotel as, Come on, Kayla, everybody screws up. He probably looked at the Titanic like, yeah, you know, ice. Mm. Uh, yeah, ice, ice happens, you know. They team up with Tom and Jerry again to create a makeshift wedding to try and get the couple that clearly needs a marriage counselor back together. Clearly. This wedding can still happen today. How? I mean, everything's destroyed. It doesn't matter. It does if the relationship was already destroyed. I lost my ring. She convinces him to try again as Tom and Jerry try to stop the bride from going to the airport again with some pretty good physical humor. You have to get them before they make it to the bridge. Hello? Ugh, this no talking thing is really getting old. Try it. They get her to the location. Did I use my shitty Christmas rom-com comparison yet? I did. Fuck it, I'll go for two. Holiday had more dignity. I know oh. yesterday was a disaster. I promise you that most of the chaos was because of me. I really think we have the chance to make this right. Are they the ones getting married? Who's the couple again? I'm sorry. Ooh, be more progressive, but... I didn't just shut up and, and listen to what you wanted. I'm hoping peer pressure in front of all these people will possibly win you back. I promise fewer surprises, and I promise more truth. Did he lie about anything? I think you're confusing your crappy ending cliches. Yeah, yeah, that's... She of course yeah, says yes, a... and I have to say for a smaller, simpler wedding, this is still pretty fucking mammoth. You have to give someone a chance to find out what they can do. You were right from the beginning. A resume is just a piece of paper. It's the lying, destructive asshole on the outside you've become. Oh my god. Thank you, Kayla. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thankfully, like the adults in the audience, I didn't pay attention to this movie at all, so of course you can work for me! Who the fuck brings a fishbowl to a wedding? Champagne. Cheers. I guess we're not an item? Or maybe we are? I don't know. You'll forget every line we said in a week. <sighs> Poop emoji! I don't have the energy. Let's wrap this up. The movie reminds us Tom wanted to be a piano player, it still goes nowhere, and the two of them end the film obviously fighting. What? Yeah, yeah. Um, the end is backwards. Oh, like you'd fix it even if you noticed. And that was the newer Tom and Jerry movie. Still probably the best one we got. I, uh, I guess I can't say. I, I don't know. For me, I don't think so. I, I think... To me, the live-action characters, I think, are worse than, than the ones we have in the animated ones. Because the animated ones, I at least remember them. Well, of course, it's hard to forget them. I mean, you know, Willy Wonka, Wizard of Oz, you know, uh, Johnny Quest. You know, all of those. Um, yeah, I don't know. To me, to me, this one, this one is worse than those. Just in my humble opinion. I mean, that's just me, though. Say it works as a whole, but when Tom and Jerry are on screen, I was pretty satisfied. Yeah. I think it depends on what you're willing to tolerate. I can take the lame live action stuff as long as the expressions, violence, and overall spirit of Tom and Jerry is there. While there's not a ton of new things they do with them, the 3D animation does give the violence a little bit more of a solid look. And their personalities still seem on point. It's almost like a reversal of the film Scoob, where there's a lot of clever writing and adult jokes, but many felt it lacked the basics like a mystery and original character setups that weren't there. This is the opposite. The core elements are all the same, but the comedic support around them is pretty weak. In a perfect world, I obviously wanted to work on both fronts, but as a diehard Tom and Jerry fan, I enjoyed it just enough. If you're looking for a good movie beginning to end, I definitely can't say it's that, but if you're a Tom and Jerry fanatic like I am and you just like seeing them work off each other, there'll probably be enough for you here. Not a glowing review, but after what we've gotten in the past, a light dim is more than enough for me. I'm a nostalgia critic. I remember. Ah! Welcome to hell. Oh, doesn't seem as bad as I thought. Yeah, I think it gets a bit of a bum rap. All right, everyone. Time for a Tim Story movie marathon. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kaplan or Chaplin and Buster. Hey, 
Hey, Chaplin, wanna chase a mouse? Why? Huh? He's a regular cat playing the piano. I want my money bag, man. Sheesh. So, yeah. Tom and Jerry. So many great memories. But not a lot of them when thinking about the movies. Oh, my gosh. I still I, I still can't believe that, you know, it was Tom and Jerry and the Wizards of Oz. Tom and Jerry and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Tom and Jerry, you know, Johnny Quest. Again... Warner, like they, like they can't figure out what the hell they want to do with Tom and Jerry. Like, if they are going to make another Tom and Jerry movie akin to this, learn your lesson. Learn your lesson, and like you can make a film that will appease both children and adults. It just, it just takes effort. Effort. Put some effort into it. You know, it, smarten up the script. Have jokes in it that kids will get and adults will get. Have dialogue in it that will go over kids' heads most of the time. But the adults will find it funny. And Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is timeless. A cat chasing a mouse. That's all you need. Sometimes that is all you need. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, so... I... Hmm. Sorry, I am very tired. It has been a very long day. But I can't find myself agreeing 100% with Doug on this one. To, I don't know. I, I like this one less, I think, than some of the animated ones. Albeit, uh, uh, okay, this one I would say is probably a little bit... Uh, actually, I don't know if I can say that. I mean, now that I've seen Doug's perspective on it, I, I'll reevaluate. Maybe I'll give it another watch. I don't know. And I'll see what I think about it. Anyway, I think that's going to do it, everyone. This was The Nostalgia Critic, Tom and Jerry, 2021. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. And if you want to see more from Channel Awesome, feel free to click their name in the title of the video. And if you want to see more from us, feel free to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified. And I guess until next time, everyone, signing off, I'm Nate. I'll see you then. Peace out.